Hello everyone. Welcome back to MedSurge Mentor. Esophageal varices are enlarged veins in the esophagus. More than 90% of the patients with liver cirrhosis will develop esophageal varices sometimes in their lifetime and about 30% of them will bleed. All right. Today let's see regarding esophageal varices. Definition of esophageal varices. Esophageal varices are extremely dilated abnormal veins in the lower third of the esophagus which occur commonly due to liver cirrhosis. Pathophysiology of esophageal varices. Due to etiological factors like liver cirrhosis, there is increased portal pressure. This leads to increased size of varices and reduced vessel wall thickness. Gradually, there is increased wall tension on the varices which leads to abnormal dilation of varices. It finally contributes to rupture and blood loss. Commonly seen clinical manifestations are vomiting large amount of blood, black chari or bloody stools, lightheadedness, loss of consciousness, unusually pale skin, ongoing tiredness and shortness of breath. Diagnostic measures done to rule out esophageal varices are endoscopic examination, abdominal CT scan, Doppler ultrasound and capsule endoscopy. Complications of esophageal varices include internal bleeding, hypovolemic shock, and cardiac arrest. Major treatment modalities done to treat esophageal varices are beta blockers, endoscopic band ligation, elastic banding, opriotide and vasopressins, transjugular intrahepatic portosystemic shunt, transfusion of blood and clotting factors, antibiotics, and liver transplantation. Some useful preventive measures of esophageal varices are eat a healthy diet, maintain healthy weight, limit use of household chemicals, avoid sharing needles and having unprotected sex, Vaccinate for Hepatitis A and Hepatitis B. Do not drink alcohol and maintain a healthy lifestyle. Nursing diagnosis for patients with esophageal varices are Risk for bleeding related to increased portal venous pressure Imbalanced nutrition less than body requirement related to digestive tract bleeding Risk for shock related to excess fluid loss. Activity intolerance related to anorexia and weakness. Disturbed body image related to biophysical changes. Deficient knowledge regarding treatment options. And fear and anxiety regarding disease condition. Nursing cases are assess vital signs. Signs of bleeding like malina and hematemesis. Maintain open airway and suction as indicated. Administer drugs that reduce portal hypertension. Encourage to avoid alcohol use and smoking. Explain options like invasive procedures. Encourage soft diet. Recommend small and frequent meals. Restrict intake of caffeine and gas producing foods. Administer IV fluids and blood transfusions. And prepare patient for surgery. So far we have discussed regarding esophageal varices. It is one of the complications of liver cirrhosis. 
and esophageal varices are enlarged veins in the esophagus. We have also discussed its etiology, pathophysiology, clinical features, diagnostic measures, management, nursing diagnosis, and nursing care. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more informative videos. Thank you.